Greetings, my name is Elias Vic, and welcome to the channel. Here are my top 5 texturing tips and tricks in Photoshop. This is probably going to be the most helpful tip of them all. If you're going to create a photorealistic texture that will use other maps along with your diffuse map, you need to eliminate most if not all existing shadows in your image, as shown here. You want to do this because you want your other map, such as your normal map and specular map, to handle all the light information. The way you do this is by pasting existing texture information in spots that you want to remove. You're able to do this by using the clone stamp tool or the healing brush that can be found in the toolbar. If you are going to make a seamless texture, it's important that you find a nice brush to work along with the clone stamp tool. You almost always want to keep your brush hardness at 100%. I know that it's tempting to use a brush with hardness of 0%, but doing this will result in the image eventually losing detail and quality. When you're creating a diffuse texture, it's most important that there are no visible color changes in the texture. There are multiple ways of eliminating light sources in the texture and making it plain, as a diffuse texture should be. One way to eliminate this is to duplicate the current image, then go up to Filter, Other, High Pass. You can then complement this with a camera raw filter that is found in the filter tab. Play around with the shadows, whites and black to get the desired effect. People often forget that there are macro functions built into Photoshop. These are great for repetitive work. If you're noticing that you're doing something over and over again, make sure to create a macro for it. The macro button can be found under Window, Actions, or alternatively by pressing Alt F9. The last thing is for those working on a game with a specific style. It's super important to define colors for a game in order to have a smooth transition between textures. You can easily do this by building up your own swatches in Photoshop. For those who do not know what swatches are, swatches are a collection of predefined colors that you or someone else has picked. You can have multiple libraries and switch between them depending on what you're working on. You can easily add colors to your swatch library by selecting the color that you want in the color picker and then pressing the empty space inside of your swatches library. I hope that some of these tips and tricks were helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon.